हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप शर्मा इफ यू आर अ पीडियाट्रिक रेजिडेंट और यू हैव प्रेजेंटेड अ केस ऑन पायोजेनिक मेनिंजाइटिस और यू हैव बीन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सुपर स्पेशलिटी यू माइट हैव एनकाउंटर्ड वन कंट्रोवर्सी द कंट्रोवर्सी रिलेटेड टू एम्पेरिकल आईवी एंटीबायोटिक थेरेपी इन पायोजेनिक मेनिंजाइटिस वॉट यू नो ऑलरेडी इन एम्पेरिकल आई वी मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पायोजेनिक मेनिंजाइटिस द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज थर्ड जनरेशन सेप्लोस्पोरेंट्स normally we give for 10 to 14 days and in case you find a specific pathogen you can always increase or decrease the duration but the controversial point is what about vancomycin if you look at the western textbooks nelson 21st edition and the other western textbooks cdc guidelines also they all say that vancomycin should be added with ceftriaxone on the other hand vancomycin is given basically to cover the resistant pneumococci the incidence of pneumococci traditionally in india has not been very great and that is why the traditional method of management of these children has been iv ceftriaxone alone this is what the indian textbooks like op ghai also say that iv ceftriaxone should be the initial therapy of choice and you add vancomycin if there is no improvement in 48 to 72 hour however the point to note iap 2022 pediatric update related to india says that with times the resistant pneumococci is increasing worldwide it is increasing in india also and that is why vancomycin should be added with ceftriaxone to summarize iap 2022 says vancomycin with ceftriaxone should be the initial empirical management in pyogenic meningitis an important update add to your notes and in case you want to read the details about what are the other evidences what are the details when to use steroids you can see the video which i have discussed in details related to pyogenic meningitis on prepladder super speciality channel thank you very much